A lot of students can't resist the temptation to take a function like 1 over x and apply the quotient rule to take the derivative. It's almost too obvious. 1 divided by x. Use the quotient rule. No, don't use the quotient rule. Use the power rule. It's super easy. You gotta know that if x is in the denominator, you can move it to the numerator by negating its power. If it's just x in the denominator, then its power is 1. So when we move it to the numerator, it has a power of negative 1. Of course, we choose not to write the 1 that was already in the numerator, because multiplying something by 1 doesn't change it. Now to take the derivative of x to the negative 1, that's super easy. It's just the power rule. We bring the power of negative 1 down in front as a factor, which is why you see that negative there, and then we just reduce the power by 1. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. So the derivative of 1 over x is negative x to the negative 2. Contrast this with using the quotient rule. If we used the quotient rule, we'd say, okay, we got to do f prime g minus g prime f all over g squared. f is the numerator, which is 1, and g is the denominator, which is x. So then we'd have our big long fraction bar. If f is 1, then f prime is 0. Now g is x, so we'd multiply that by x. And then minus. If g is x, then g prime is 1, and we need to multiply that by f, so multiply by 1. Looks like we went a little overboard on the fraction, we'll shrink that a little, and then divide by g squared, so divide by x squared. Now 0 times x is 0, and 1 times 1 is 1, so final answer is minus 1 over x squared. Now these two things are the same. Of course, we could rewrite negative x to the negative 2 as negative 1 over x squared if we wanted to, but hopefully it's clear this quotient rule process is a lot more complicated than just using the power rule. Now it's not super clear in this example because this one's pretty easy, so the quotient rule isn't really that bad. But in general, if you can, use the power rule. The quotient rule generally leads to a lot more mistakes. And if you find that writing expressions like this as powers isn't something you're comfortable with yet, you've got to get comfortable with it. So face the music, don't use the quotient rule. I'll leave a link in the description to a long video I have doing tons of power rule problems that will involve lots of rewriting so that we can actually apply the rule. Good luck. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.